All right, so we're gonna be installing this new LED GMC logo on this 2016. There you go. I always say 2015, but it's a 2016 LML Duramax. So first things first is we gotta pop this GMC emblem off. First things first, we're gonna remove this plastic valence right here. All right, remove that. And then there should be like three to four 10 millimeters in which this grill is easier to remove than my GMC. I would say the first gen LML because you have to remove this piece in order to kind of remove the grill on the first gen LML. Four 10 millimeter bolts and then we just pop them out. There you go. Yeah, it's one, two, three, four, and then two more right here. And the sides, and then four bolts. Yeah, you see this right here? We're about to put a new one on. That white cylinder. It's gonna be cool. Here, come here. Here, put your glasses right here. Look. Here, hang, look up, hang from it. Woo, look, girl, you could have did the challenge. Why did you? Why did you? All right, up next, you're gonna clean it with some alcohol. you pop out the plastic GMC emblem. Most of your emblem is gonna be red. This one's been plastic dipped or painted so you can see black, but you can also see where it was red right there. Peel the double-sided tape, fish the wire, throw an opening right here. Center it up. You're still gonna to wanna to center it up because there's probably like a couple millimeters of spacing, so. Line it up the best you can. All right, so installation of this LED GMC emblem onto your existing housing. So honestly, that looks pretty fact. Already got the resin poured, so it's not just straight up LED. It, it kind of looks like it has a clear coat on top. I don't know if you guys can see the resin that's been poured. So, next thing is the wiring part. This step is pretty important because this step is pretty important, so you guys have to just pay attention whenever you're installing these drivers. Each driver has, this one has G. This one's obviously gonna go to your G. This one is your M. It's gonna go to your M. And this one is the C, so it goes to your C. So each driver must be connected to the corresponding letter. Uh, it has a driver in here that's built for specific amount of LEDs that powers this uh, whole logo. Don't mess it up uh, because you are risking the chance of frying the LED board on the emblem. So depending on the type of grill that you have, sometimes you'll have to drill a hole underneath right here, right here, or right here. Uh, if you have silicone, fill in the little hole right there with silicone so that way like moisture doesn't get in it. All right, so we put the grill back in place. As you can see, the wire's been ran up right here. Now, all you got left to do is tap this into your power source in which I do send extra wires that you can extend to either your fuse box and I will send you guys a fuse tap as well. But for this application, we're gonna tap into his rock light harness. So that way he can turn them off if he needs to. For example, like when you're at Orange Beach in Alabama, can't have any aftermarket lighting. Devin knows all about it. He got a ticket. All about it. It's probably right, man, ticket. $375 <laughs> later. Yep, so you do not want these on in Alabama. Uh, hook it up to the rock light so that way he has control over being able to turn them on and off. So we ran the wires up around, try to block it all as possible. 
Got one right here. I plan on taking it back off. General holding this and running them all up through there. All came up right here. Tied them all together. Found the spot to run it straight down. We're gonna put some uh, electrical tape around this, so the rub right there, it won't rub. Old JW himself down here. Connecting it to the rock light harness. Turn your uh, DRLs too. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's bright. Yeah, it is. It's brighter than my DRLs are. <laughs> Heck yeah. Wait a minute, what do you think about the GMC? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> 